water water is one of the natural resource available on earth humans animals and plants need water to drink and live it has no fixed shape and covers 71% of the earth's surface our main source of water is rain because when it rains water in the ponds lakes streams river and sea get filled pond is a small body of water which is surrounded by land on all the sides whereas lake is a large body of water surrounded by land thin channel of water flowing down a mountain is known as a stream and these streams becomes bigger to form a river the rivers flows into the sea which is a huge body of water containing salty water water is also present under the ground we dig wells to get the underground water as we have learned that the water is present in sea rivers lakes and ponds provide us drinking water as they have low concentration of dissolved salts even as the sea water is salty and is not suitable for drinking the water suitable for drinking covers less than 2% of the earth which is a very small part available for a drinking but the water in lakes and rivers is not suitable for consuming directly so it is first purified to remove the dirt and germs present in it direct consumption of water can cause a lot of diseases so it is very important to filter it before consuming so it is a duty to save water and create awareness like you should always turn off the tap after using water do not use excess water or throw it the water cycle or the formation of water the water vapor in the air is changed into liquid water which is known as condensation process condensation is crucial to the water cycle because it is responsible for the formation of clouds these clouds will produce precipitation which is the primary route of water to return to the earth's surface